Hi, my name is Slate and welcome or welcome back to the Little Radio's Corner. If you missed my first video in this back to school series, you can go watch it down below or up above. But in that one, I talked about what I have in my school backpack. And today I'm going to be talking about my grad school essentials slash favorites <laughs> of what to bring to school or college. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna start off with some snacks. <laughs> so I have really been enjoying these RX bars. They're really great because they put exactly what the ingredients are on the front of the bar, which I really appreciate. Also, they are delicious. I really enjoy them. I just realized, no, this is definitely not sponsored. I just really like these bars. <laughs> And I think that they're wonderful and they just are really great when you're in a pinch and you're hungry and you need something to eat. Love these. They have multiple different flavors. You can find them at most grocery stores, definitely at Trader Joe's, maybe at Whole Foods and most chain grocery stores, I would assume, but they're a good time. Next, we have Tarani syrup. <laughs> I know this is probably not what you were expecting, for a school essential, but here we are. Tarani syrups, so these are basically just the coffee syrups that most coffee shops will put in your beverages when you're asking for some kind of flavor. They either have the Tarani syrup, Starbucks makes their own syrups because that's what they like to do, and then there's one other one that most places will have if they don't have Tarani. I think it's Moniz, Moniz, something like that. But these are the most common and the most popular and they're the most used everywhere. If you go to their website, they have like 60 different flavors. It's a lot. They also have pumpkin spice, if you care about pumpkin spice, but vanilla is just the most standard, the easiest to use. If you watched my previous video, you'll know that I have <laughs> emergency vanilla. <laughs> they're so cute next to each other. And this is really just the mini version of this one. I got a pack of um, I think three or four of these off of their website and they sent me a little freebie tester of like three or four of them in little mini versions and this is exactly what I needed because I was already planning to get a tiny mini bottle to have as emergency vanilla. I know I already went on this rant in the previous video but let me tell you again why emergency vanilla is essential. Think about all of the times where you drank your coffee that you just spent like four to six dollars, four to six dollars, and then you ended up having a mediocre coffee because it just didn't taste right. There wasn't enough flavoring in it. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it was too bitter. You didn't like the taste of that coffee. You know what could have saved you? emergency vanilla and then you wouldn't have to go and be awkward and tell them you hated their coffee even though like oh god that sounds horrible no that's the worst case scenario instead you could have just taken out your emergency vanilla popped it right in there or or the other case when this is very useful is when you don't want to spend the extra 50 to 75 cents that you are basically required to every single time you want vanilla or hazelnut or whatever flavoring you want you could have emergency flavor with you at all time come on it's great okay see so essential next up we have my favorite shoes <laughs> so these are some shoes that I absolutely love they're from a co eco Susi. I don't I can't I can never remember what the oh here it is eco Susi. I guess that's it. I really like their products. I have two of their bags and now I have their shoes. I have been wanting Oxfords like these for so long. Or maybe these are brogues. Oxfords, not brogues. I think these are actually brogues, but I've always wanted these kinds of shoes. I've always wanted to live in a city and walk around in these shoes or be a grad student and walk around in these shoes. And I think everyone deserves a kind of pair of shoe like that. So if Getting a snazzy little shoe for yourself is part of your budget, then it's a good time. I really enjoy it. It makes you feel pretty cool when you're just walking along and you're like, bam, I'm ready for business. You feel very cool. So back to the coffee theme, I think having <laughs> two different travel mugs that can hold both iced and hot beverages 
you can usually find one that does both of them but i happen to have these two so this one was originally from starbucks i think in hawaii they do like a special thing where they're pineapple shaped i don't know i just saw it and i thought it was cute and then this one which i got from the place where i worked and then i just put a beautiful onward sticker in there love that for me love that so good stuff and next up my favorite pens are these pilot g2 pens they are just the perfect pen in my opinion so i have both the 0.5 and the 0.7 i use 0.5 the most these are gel roller pens and they never skip they last really long they look really good and they feel so nice when you write with them on the page so if you care about pens then these are highly recommended by me <laughs> moving along with pens i have many <laughs> mild liners i have almost i think every single color and these aren't even all of the ones that i have because all of my most essential ones are actually in my pencil case which i showed in the last video and i love them so much they're subtle they're pretty they're beautiful they have many different colors and it just looks so nice when you're accenting physical notes or things in your planner you can color code things i mean is that just me i love color coding things so much and these are amazing and now we have some things that i would dub as health and wellness so i talked about these before band-aids are just great if you are walking around a lot especially after being home for a very large portion of the last few months years all of that i don't know about you but my feet aren't used to wearing professional shoes or just many different kinds of shoes and walking around all the time and i have needed these very much so it's good to have them on the go and save yourself a lot of pain <laughs> in the future speaking of saving yourself from pain so i got this lavender cbd balm from just I like this little local shop near me and it's great it basically you can put it on any like rashes or if you're having a headache you can put it on there like on your head i had this weird nasal situation going on where i wasn't sick but i had like a major headache right here which inflamed my nasal passage you don't care about this but it's fine it flamed my nasal passage and then it just triggered my nose to like drip all day long and i wasn't sick it was literally just because i had this weird eyebrow headache and then i used so much of this on there to like relieve the headache and it was great and most places will have cbd oil so if you're looking for a little bit more of a natural alternative that's great and then last of all this is specifically for anyone who menstruates but I recently switched over to using a diva cup about three years ago i was kind of nervous i was like mm, but it's so much better for the environment than tampons or pads and i really enjoyed using this there are a couple different brands out there i specifically use the diva cup they have a couple different sizes as well and it is so great because you don't have to worry about it as often and you can just leave it in all day and not worry about it not <laughs> be stressed about it which i know for a lot of people especially if you're busy going around doing a lot of different things is very important so hear it from me it's a good time there you go all right those were all of my grad school essentials i have one more video in this series where i will show you how I set up my digital notes so that I take notes on my tablet and then have them on all of my devices on the go. This is just something that I personally have decided to do for myself because I have never had a really good memory. I always have to really study material to be able to retain it and taking notes is the most important part for me to try to learn something so i need to be really quick about learning notes i need them to look really aesthetically pleasing to me so that i want to look at them and study them so i have to be able to edit them and move things around so that it looks better 
and doing that on my tablet really helps for me personally so that will be in a different video if you're curious about what's in my backpack that was in the first video in this series thank you so much for joining me let me know if you are starting school soon if you're excited what things you find essential or are your back to school favorites and i will see you in the next one thank you so much bye remember to like comment and subscribe